Hello gentlemen, this is Agilus. In this video, I will be walking you through the starting of the emergency generator, connecting it to the bus bar, and supplying power to the consumers. You are looking at the process directory or process display directory. It is here where all the different systems in the engine room are listed. When you click the title, the model diagram of that system will pop out. The model diagrams that we will be going to are number 78 emergency generator, the number 70 electric power plant, then number 73 emergency switchboard. It is here where we will be supplying power to all the consumers. It is here where we will connect the emergency generator to the emergency bus bar. So now let's go to the emergency generator. Go to number 78 in emergency generator. Click the title. And there is your emergency generator number 78. This is the engine. This is the cooling system. The emergency generator has a fan and it is using a radiator as cooling for the fresh water. The yellow lines in the diagram is the diesel system. The emergency generator is using diesel as fuel. This line is from the starting battery. So we will be using the battery to start the emergency generator. This is the lube oil system of the emergency generator. The emergency generator is lined up and ready to start. So all you have to do is go to the engine control, look for start, then click the button. After doing that, observe the RPM in letter N. When the RPM reaches 1800, you can now connect emergency generator to the emergency bus bar. Where can you find the emergency bus bar? The emergency bus bar is in model diagram number 70. So just click this number and the model diagram number 70 will pop out. This is the electric power plant number 70 and this is the main bus bar while this is the emergency bus bar. This is where we will connect the emergency generator. The symbols below are the different generators. The emergency generator has the smallest engine. This is the turbo generator. There's a symbol of the turbine. This is the diesel generator number 2 or DG2. Well, this is DG1 or diesel generator number 1. Diesel generator 1 and diesel generator 2 are exactly the same. And this is the shaft generator. It has the biggest engine. This is the main engine. Now going back to the emergency generator. When you start the engine, the emergency generator, this circle will turn into yellow. Meaning, the engine is running. But if the circle is black, just like the other generators, it means the engine is not running. So if you start the generator and you come here to number 70, you should be seeing a yellow circle here. Then check for the output voltage in letter V. There should be a 440 volts reading here. If you do not see a 440 volts reading, 
you go down to voltage control and click on. If you click on, the 440 volts will appear here. Then, connect the breaker by clicking breaker in. After that, go back down to the engine control and click auto. Do not forget to put your emergency generator in automatic mode. Then, proceed to number 73. This is the emergency switchboard. It is here where we will be supplying power to the consumers. Click number 73. And there is the number 73, the emergency switchboard. In order to supply power to these consumers, click the button in. If the button is not pushed in, it will not be supplied with power. So go ahead and click all the buttons since all of these are emergency equipment and they should always be supplied with power. These consumers above are 440 volts, while these ones below are 220 volts. So in order to have a 220 volt supply, connect this breaker for the emergency transformer by heating in. Then check that these breakers are pushed in. This group are 24 volts. They are supplied by batteries. So put everything also in. In short, click in all the breakers except for spare. Do not include the spare. Spare means nothing is connected to that breaker. So that's it gentlemen, that's how to start the emergency generator, how to connect it to the emergency bus bar, and how to supply power to the consumers. Watch the next video for the demonstration. Ito yung emergency generator. I-acknowledge muna natin yung alarm. One way to acknowledging the alarm is click the alarm. Then, from the list, tignan mo sa listahan ano yung umaalarma. Then, i-click mo yung mga nagbi-blink para mas steady. Then, exit. O, nawala na yung alarm. Okay. Paanda na natin, go to engine control, click start. Then, panoorin nyo yung RPM nya dito sa letter N. Paabutin nyo ng 1,800 bago i-connect sa emergency bus bar. Napansin nyo yung mga bomba, kulay itim sila kanina. Nung pinandar natin yung makina, Nagbago sila ng kulay. Sumabay sila sa andar ng makina. Okay, eto na yung RPM natin. 1,800. Meron ditong alarm. Letter L sa tapat ng letter V. It is a low voltage alarm. Nalobat dahil ginamit natin sa pag start ng generator. So, para ma-acknowledge, pwede nyo i-click direkta. Ayan, nag-steady, ibig sabihin na acknowledge na yan. So, 1.8 na yung RPM. Punta na tayo sa 70. Yan ang bus bar. Ito na yung 70. Kung titignan nyo yung bilog, kulay dilaw na dahil umaandar makina. I-check ngayon yung Voltage output, 0. 
bumaba kayo sa voltage controller, i-click nyo yung on. Ayan ang voltage. Lumabas yung 440 volts. Pwede nyo nang i-connect yung breaker. Ang pag-connect, i-click yung breaker in. Ayan, connected na. Then, bumaba kayo sa engine control at ilagay sa automatic ang emergency generator. Huwag nyong kalimutan yan. Then, akyat kayo sa taas, pumasok kayo sa 73, yan yung emergency switchboard. Number 73. Ayan yung 73, emergency switchboard. I-acknowledge natin itong bagong alarm. Another way of acknowledging the alarm is click the word alarm. Then, sa listahan, i-click mo yung nagbiblink. Ang nag-alarm ay engine control room air humidity. Click yan. Pag nag-steady, na-acknowledge na yan. Then, click back para mag-exit. Okay, balik tayo sa emergency switchboard. Anong gagawin dito? Yung mga breaker na to dapat naka-in. Yung mga naka-out na yan, pindutin para nakalubog para masupplyan ng power. Yan ang Itong mga nasa baba, mga 220 volts. Mga lights, light panel, light panel. Mga 220 volts ang mga to. Para magkaroon tayo 220 volts, kailangan natin ng emergency transformer. I-connect ang breaker by clicking in. Para magkaroon ng supply sa 220 Dapat nakailaw yung ready na yan. Itong grupo na to, itong grupo ng consumers, yan ay sinusuplay ng batteries. So, yan yung mga 24 volts. Okay, nakapindot na lahat. So, that's it, gentlemen. Nakapag-start na tayo ng emergency generator. Connected na sa emergency bus bar. At, nakasupply na tayo sa mga switchboard. This is Agilus, signing off.